going to be the first one out of uh, this particular group um, to advance to the top eight. Is it going to be Regful or is it going to be RDU? Guys, who's your favorites? Well, well, I have to say, of course, I think Radu is maybe a bit favorite, but Regful does uh, has some really good tricks here. So um, I want to see what he's going to pull out this series. What do you think, JJ? Lineup wise, uh, who would you favor in this particular series? If you even saw what they played? Um, RDU is my practice partner. Um, I'm rooting for him. Um, I don't think Regful is better than him. A bit luckier, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm rooting for RDU, definitely. Yeah, I mean, definitely, uh, definitely it's going to be an interesting series to watch. Uh, Regful, kind of a wild card, like you said. Um, Sure, he might be a little bit luckier and therefore be, <laughs> be in the spot that he's in. Uh, but he's played fairly well, I would uh, say. So uh, he's defi he definitely also deserves to be in the spot, I would, I would say this. Uh, so well, how do you think Rado is approaching an opponent like Regful, who is like way different than um, any other opponent he faces in the tournament scene? Rado doesn't, uh, doesn't really try, uh, doesn't underestimate anyone and he really try, just takes it super serious and uh, it's just looking at what the matchup do, and I think he has a pretty okay lineup against Regful. And uh, yeah, we'll see. yeah, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it seems like there's still some technical issues on Regful's side, uh, which are hopefully going to resolve soon. Um, we definitely can't wait to see this game go down. Um, so, what are the players that are now? We have six players already advancing. It was um, yeah, it was from uh, Group A. Um, we saw. Orange and Froden advance over Ignite and Dostkaka. Oskaka, huge upset right there. Dostkaka actually lost his group um, and did not manage to advance to the top eight. World champion out of the tournament. But many other favorites fell early, even earlier. Thais, Xixo, e among others. Yeah, me as well, <laughs> sure. Uh, out of group B, we had Vortex and Gara advancing over Freak and Purple. Uh, in group D, as I mentioned before, Powder and Super JJ advancing over... No, Soleil advanced. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah, Super JJ and Zale advancing over Powder and Asmodai. Yeah. Um, and yeah, right here we will see who's going to be the first one to advance to top eight. Is it going to be RDU or is it going to be Regful? We'll see. I see uh, Regful trying to get ready, almost sleeping, but gets his coffee just served there. I guess he's ready for another Warrior Mirror match where we are oh, starting yeah. with, guys. That's just what we want to I see. I think he knows how to play this match. Uh, What's the favorite Mirror? I, I just uh, want to cast his one hour games. Mm -hmm. Honestly, though, <laughs> <laughs> I think that Warrior Mirrors are, in my opinion, the most exciting yeah. mirror matchup. I wonder how. Uh, despite what everyone says. I wonder how uh, Regful's going to approach it now after the Warrior Mirror match. Some people even say you mulligan away Echolite of Pain and you hope you never draw it and you're never going to play it again. I don't know. How do you think of that? Like, never playing any of these card draw cards at all. Um, I say you don't play it until you don't need to play it. Um, Keeping out of the mulligan seems wrong. Uh, it's like you really don't want to but draw. If you don't want to play it, uh, yeah, well, maybe you can still play it on turn three. But if you know, especially now with the Justicar, like in both versions running also Shield Maidens and Bashes, it's you're never gonna win the race anymore. If you and both versions don't play Alex, maybe even I don't. Oh, that's know. a good card. Like uh, it that makes no sense anymore. I feel Acolyte. Well, Echolite, on the other hand, though, is still all right if you want to draw specific threats earlier than your opponent. Like, for example, you want to have those, uh, this Justic car as early as possible yeah, as true. well. And just have a variety of threats and answers. Um, the more uh, options you have, the better you are suited in the current board state. Sure, if, um, this, of course, um, punishes you in the late, late game. But um, if you manage to win the game before that, then good for you. Um, the thing is with the Justic car, the Warrior Mirror just got even slower than it was before and the situation that you even mentioned, um, it is really rarely appearing that you actually get rushed down in the mirror from the Arrow Control Warrior. Yeah, where it was before you went 5 turns in fatigue, you now go 15 turns in fatigue. That's yeah. how it feels. I think it's like more <laughs> exciting, right? <laughs> yeah, it's actually it is way more tricky now. Well, it's not necessarily just um, the... I mean, it, it, it's not like he's going to kill him, that's true, but um, often enough, the damage that the minions provide early on um, allows you to get so far ahead in health that the couple of cards that you're behind in fatigue won't end up mattering. That's true, yeah. Um, it's really hard. I mean, are you having a drastic car there as like a big edge? 
maybe that even can, <laughs> if you get like five more dusty car procs, it's like a lot. Yeah, just a car, amazing car in the mirror. And you don't really have to play it on turn six, if, uh, but uh, definitely at turn eight it always comes out. At turn six, if you have the armor up at turn seven, uh, then it's a good turn. Mm, I mean, are you even want, like, it, it's really tricky, like, you're, like, walking on the edge, right? So you want them to draw as many cards as you can afford, so you can handle with, um, with his threats, but you also don't want, like, to get behind. So it's really tricky, like, how much card do you give him? Yeah, and uh, we see, actually, Recall trying to at least push some damage in with the minions, and sometimes, as we already said, it's really important to deal this early damage with the minions. Mm -hmm. Um, we can play Justicar and Curve, throws you behind on tempo a little bit. Um, or you just go Armorsmith, kill the Shredder, Taskmaster, Acolyte, go for the maybe a bit greedier route. That's not easy. We see some removal and Brawl, particularly not a really helpful card in this matchup. And uh, yeah, yeah, he cannot really play much, so much else than just the car or besides the Taskmaster with Armor Smith. Yeah, Rickful though has such a clean kill on this just the car. It really hurts you uh, to play this. I mean, it really hurts to see just the car being uh, cleared for zero mana but just by attacking with the fiery war axe. So, are you just choose to go for the different route? I think I like it. Like, are are you kind of going for the middle line? He says, yeah, don't give you this extra draw of the acolyte. I'm not super greedy, but. Um, I'm going to remove the Shredder. Is this the best thing that can come out of the Shredder? You get three lives back. Yeah, yeah, How awesome is that in the Warrior Mirror? You get some extra <laughs> life. <Is> you, get, <laughs> you want extra armor, not life. Yeah, uh, yeah that's true. <laughs> but it heals him. It heals him. Um, I think I, I have to say it's really interesting. I uh, think like Rekful uh. in this tournament is actually improving as a player. Like He's getting better and better per series. Isn't it like kind of cool? It is true. Uh, I think... Um, in the first series that he played on, um, day, was it day one or day two? It uh, was a, he played at day one, I think. Well, and that he didn't really care. <laughs> that's what, at least what, that's what he said. Like yeah. he, he was in, the, he was uh, going into this tournament with the mindset that, he, oh yeah, Hearthstone is like, I don't care about what I do. I just click cards and all that stuff. Yeah. But, but then, of course, now he's really in tryhard mode. Now that he's, this, tur now that he's, uh, now that he progresses so well in the tournament. Like I enjoy seeing that. But it's, it's like it's insanely cool. And we saw the just car being played. From now on, the armor up is a tank up. What means four armor every turn if you armor up? Um, the problem is for RDU, like, um, Rekford is really getting all his mid game threats that can be hard to deal with sometimes. Um, so you might actually run out of a removal. Yeah, exactly. When you're forced to use uh, cards like Shield Slam and Execute, um, which you usually want to have for those big mains like Gromash and Isera. Uh, if you're forced to use those um, on Vultures or Shield Maidens, then you might just run out of answers against big threats. Yeah, what I is, by the way, more valuable in, in a matchup, like Execute or Shield Slam? I felt always like Execute is super valuable, but now, with armoring up so much, Shield Slam is always the removal. Yeah, Shield Slam is definitely the go-to removal, um, especially like if you run Bash uh, with the tank up, of course. Mm -hmm. It's just... Uh, Way more, e way easier to um, just set up a shield slam than an execute. That's true. Um, boom is kind of good, especially because you're behind on board, so the boom bots might actually do some work. So it's a really good topic. Yeah, but we see the big game hunter ready to go. Um, if that, if Rekful choose to go for that, so he oh, could also there? shield slam it, of course. But I mean, the, the big game hunter is not too uh, big of a problem, Kappa. Um, so <laughs> you can just um, trade the boom bots into him and maybe get even the shield slam killed by it. Yeah, it's uh, especially these bombs. Like if they deal a decent amount of damage either into the shield made or into the boom later, it uh, it makes like plays from Radu as a Geddon makes it better. Uh, Rack Flash actually a lot of options here. He drew and maybe it was like. Ecolite at turn 3, it, it, it shall just be right still. Uh, it's, it gives you so much more options. Like, Rekfell is just having so much options that he can play here now every turn. So, it seems like he's going for... Um, oh, what is this? Six damage to the face. I think it's actually really, really well played by Rekfell. Yeah, definitely. This is also the line I would choose. Not putting more stuff on the board either, to not overextend against the Brawl. Very well played for sure. Just keep the board a bit sticky, but not too much. But this this uh, weapon draw is really, really uh, important for RDU here. This Baron Geddon, does it get better in the mirror? Uh, 
But also, does the Brawl get better in the mirror? I think both players are still really reasonable yeah. here, but Gaden, the value is here really big. The Brawl can get, still get some good value. Ardu didn't have Sylvanas yet, yeah. and also Dr. Boom on Wreckful's side hasn't been played yet, which is uh, usually the scenario where you want to Brawl. Yeah. Um, that is actually not that easy for Wreckful. The Shield Slams are kind of dead if, they, if he doesn't use the Shield Block. Also, um, tr um, gives you like a more fatigue damage if you go for more draw here. Hmm. Kind of, kind of hard. And you can't develop like a board, maybe a Belcher on top of that. Seems okay. Okay, the problem is here. If you go for these uh, aggressive lines, you go for more cycle, go for the removal here. You will um, just lose the fatigue dam um, the fatigue match if you go for it later. Yeah, but. As in the moment is, Radu is really running a bit out of that cards. That is a good top deck. Yeah, but Radu is a bit running out of cards, and that's... It, it will not be the problem this turn, but it might be a problem uh, in oh, one or two oh, turns. Oh, oh, oh. I don't, 30, I don't the 30 think... Percent that it's really Paris. risky to do these moves against Rackfall. But and honestly, though, the <laughs> when, when else are you going to play the Brawl? The Brawl yeah. on a board with Dr. Boom only is a good answer to the Boom, usually. Because yeah. the 1-1 boom, one, one boom bot will end up and not doing anything. Yeah. Um, in like 33% 40, uh, of the case that it survives, that's like a hover chance and it's always hover, so you don't want to do it, right? Oh, Radu does not want to take the chance. Yeah, he can still do it next turn. If he shield slams the mm -hmm. the boom here, you can you can guarantee that Greg was at least going to play one minion. It might be a, a mediocre one, like a Belcher. If, but he, if he plays a double Belcher, yeah, that's going to be such a good brawl, though. And Wreckful saw Ardu like waiting with this turn, and maybe, maybe he was thinking, yeah, maybe he has a brawl. Oh, he does play oh, double Belcher. Oh, he actually plays oh, double man, that is huge oh, for wow. Ardu. Baited into yeah. additional brawl value. I, if still one Belcher survives here. Oh, that's a good top deck. I mean, all of it, uh, what Ardu wants at the moment is like removal, right? Well, you don't want too much, but he run already out of removal pretty early with one execute and one shield slam. So definitely, one, having one shield slap back up is really good. Okay, mm -hmm. no belts are surviving at all. Fortunately, for I Rackful. think that is like really good for you. Like you, you get you play one brawl, you kill two belters, kill one boomba. Uh, like it's really, really good. And now Rackful sees the brawl is gone. It is unlikely that RDU has a second one. I mean, yeah. It's getting like kind of in this situation, like what Redfall has here. He is like, yeah, I have to play aggressive now because I'm never going to win the fatigue damage, uh, fatigue match. Seems that he takes a totally other approach now than what was in the last turn. May maybe it was because of his hand. Very. Oh. Can he just? Yeah, he can just shield slam this yeah, now. Uh, he could even already kill it with uh, arc tank up uh, cruel taskmaster, yeah. but this this for sure being a way better answer. Hmm. What is the count? I, I kind of lost track. What is the count on big removals? Uh, Ardu lost, uh, Ardu, already, Ardu Ardu lost, already lost uh, a lot of it, right? Yeah, he, he played three. He played double shield slam already and one execute early on the shield maiden. So he's, I think, only one execute uh, left and and he played the brawl already. Um, but as far as I know, Ardu runs like double BGH, right? What? I'm not sure. No, that was extensive, though. No, I know it because I made it from this line. <laughs> oh, you did? Okay. Uh, well, then there's still some good removal left, but BGHs are still not good enough for Zilbanos. Yeah, the, the main issue is going to be, is RDU going to draw, execute, um, no uh, to answer Rackfold's Isera? What do you think that Rackfold actually doesn't want to draw out of this slam? Like, he knows he's already behind. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it actually is, the last removal. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Like, I don't think the slam is right because you know you're going to lose fatigue battle. You have no tank up, and you have already drawn more cards. Yeah, it's the life total is still kind of the same. It's not a big difference, but yeah, the tank up is gonna hurt a lot, and he doesn't really have a hand where he can punish much more. But Alex Traza is a reasonable play here. Um, you can go for the Taskmaster Execute, but Alex, even if he trades with his. Uh, Sylvanas, then you can execute your uh, the Alex. So I actually like it. Yeah, I think Wreckfall actually has like no mid game threats left. The Shield Maidens are gone, and the Belchers are gone, right? And Boom as well. Even Grom is gone. I mean, he played it as a four nine. Well, yeah, Isera, Isera is basically Isera is uh, yeah, Isera is scary. That's true. Using execute here means no answer for um, Isera. Wreckfall mm, top decking Gaden. Uh, kind of weird. You can just uh, throw this bomb in to uh, 
Do you want to do it? Why don't you just want to steal it with oh, yeah. oh, oh, that is that good? You're going really low. Uh, you can also just. I don't just think you face tank it. You have two removal here. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, Rackful deciding that the shield stem is just so much more valuable later in the game. I, I actually really like that. Earlier in, in the Hearthstone, like two, three months ago, it was always you keep these executes, but now it's really the shield stems that you keep. I mean, are you gonna be? Uh, has to be afraid of an Yesera here because this execute is like his last heavy removal. Yeah. Oh, wow. he will not have the answer against uh, Yesera unless he has. Uh, if Rex, if Rexful, Rexful keeps track of this, he knows four removal is all gone now. Yeah. I mean, he's writing down, right? I mean, yeah. This is what he was talking about uh, earlier. Like he really wants to write down everything now <laughs> and to not come into the same situation that he uh, encountered against Stansivka. He's just sacrificing his slime here. So death by draw for RDU or Big Game Hunter might be really important. Ooh, that actually kills off the the Ganon here. You just attack with the Grom and Taskmaster yeah. it. Yeah, it seems good, right? What I about mean, what about just going face? Yeah, I was also thinking of that. I mean, if it doesn't die, mm. then you win. But if there's an execute, you yeah, lose. So true. I don't know if that are. I think. If Do you, you really lose though? I mean, there is no tank up for Wreckful and Gaten counteracts the own hero power. I mean, from RDU's perspective, you really want to go for this defensive line, right? Because you have tank up, you have le drawn less cards, so I think this is actually the right play here. Oh, and there's the, the Yashira, like right in time, together with the Execute, oh, in an Ooh. empty hand of Radu with no removal left. Wow, uh -huh. amazing draw right there. Call it come at a better <laughs> moment. I mean, this is so insane for Rackful. I'm a bit wins in the game, right? Like, he knows there is no removal left, and yeah, this Execute is so good. Um, this Yashira is like infinite weapon. Oh, wow. 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 Aryu is like, wow. Yeah, he can even, uh, he can even kill off the um, Taskmaster to play yeah. around the potential oh. second, second draw. draw. Yeah, so no, oh, absolutely man. no outs for and Aryu no, here. No cards in hand. Like, Sylvanas, Sylvanas top deck? Is that it? Oh, oh and then <laughs> there is oh. more removal, but not the answer that you need against Yashira. Yeah, oh, that, that Yashira is going to carry him a long Long, long way. Oh. He needed this big game hunter to be like something like bouncing blades. <laughs> Dude, Rackful became really good at Hearthstone. Yeah, uh. I mean, after 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 a grueling <laughs> warrior mirror <laughs> that he had to play against Sansivka, I think you know he has to match up down. <laughs> <Yeah. right? laughs> well, and it is if you have more than uh, four threats. I mean, you saw the early execute against the shield maiden that Radu kind of needed to do. Oh wow, Come that's is it enough? I mean, they're gonna be in shield for so. Oh, you can you can nightmare BG age it, right? Oh yeah. wow! Oh, wow. it's insane! It's like the best thing to get here, right? Exactly. <laughs> Whoa, skill! Uh, yeah, it's. <laughs> it's oh <laughs> wow! So good. <laughs> I hope he. Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, you will see it. Wow. You, yeah, like if you have if you have like ten cards in hand, you probably what? don't mention it because it's a pretty rare combo. But yeah. if you have like only these two yeah, cards together, yeah, I mean, together, it's like the best card to get. Like you're looking all. Like, all right, oh. but the Sarah dies right now, does it? Um, you're gonna get how much armor? You go to seven. Three damage. Uh, yeah, uh, nine it's, uh, armor. yeah, it's exactly. Oh, that's, that was a pretty clutch shield slam uh, right there. Exact uh, lethal on Isera. Exactly. Lethal. And another laughing sister. Ready for trouble. It's actually pretty good here, Laughing Sister, because it gives some board pressure in the in Wow, the okay, match. here we go. Nightmare, BGH, Death Spite. And Tank Up. Don't forget the Tank Up. Always oh, yeah, pretty yeah, yeah, decent yeah. in this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> true that. That's yeah, true. And yeah. now with that Isera being dealt with, what does Rekful still have? Mm, nothing. I, it's so hard to, to keep track of the cards being played everywhere. Yeah, and Dragfall has to fail this year. That's really, really bad for him. It was probably the last threat he had left. Well, there is still a Laughing Sister. That's right. Uh, and there's going to be just the car as well. That Acolyte is not just the car. The cars, uh, did, how many weapons did RDU use already? Uh, it's hard no, to keep track. Uh, yeah, <laughs> with, with the mirror match here, it's oh, bad. you don't know you, which you one. You used one by Warwick already in one death fight. And probably like there are so shield yeah. maidens left, like these mediocre minions. So are Four you cards, wow. Uh, There's another weapon. You don't need to kill that. No. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, that might be... That is, Ooh, I mean, armor up, just the car. 
tank up. The thing is, like, RDU has Dr. Boom left, he has Savannah's left, he has Gromish. No, Gromish is gone. But Dr. Boom and Savannah's for sure, and Belcher as well. Uh, I thought that Dr. Boom is gone. Did he play it already? Yeah, both yeah. Uh, both players both played are it gone. already. Am I, am I going to get, to get Zep now? <laughs> Nah, we I, will I, keep don't you. I don't think anyone can blame you. Yeah. It's yeah. very hard to keep track unless you write it down, <laughs> like those players do, yeah. should do, right? Like this is why those. Well, this is why the players write down every card yeah. that has been played because it yeah. always comes down to fatigue at some point. I mean, I did it too in some matches. I didn't do it very. I know the matches where not the the deck is not gonna fatigue himself out. With freeze matches, it's also really important to do to know what is left, but. And in Warrior Mirrors, it's insanely important. Yeah, not only what's left in uh, your, your opponent's deck, but also what's left in your deck sometimes, yeah. right? Um, sometimes you forget what's left in your deck as well. But I feel like in the Druid Mirror or in the Hunter Mirror, it's like a bit different. No Actually, it doesn't attack here. Hmm. So it gets a Death Spite. So that's actually quite hard for Wreckful, so you really want to trade your board into that? Well, if he doesn't, then RDU is going to make the trade for him and uh, steal an armor smith, basically. Mm. I mean, sure, Rekful maybe doesn't care if um, RDU steals an armor smith, actually. Because what is armor smith going to do, really? Is the 1 4 minion? Yeah, you can just suicide both minions, but. Yeah, or you could just go face here. Yeah. I mean, it's both fine. Is the six I damage better though? I think I think you actually want to go face there, right? Uh, I mean, the Savannah's has to trade because RDU doesn't want to take more damage, and you actually just get like six more damage on top of that. It seems good. So in life total, it is um, not that much. There's eight life total difference, but that's but in favor of Radu, and with Radu also having two less cards in his or two more cards in his deck. Rockfall is not going to win the fatigue battle. I mean, he really has to. Play you could him. also give him the acolyte, right? Oh yeah. Oh, is he going to do the? Oh, oh that's a really it. heads up play. And now Death fight the face, and then you. <laughs> wow, what a what a. Rockfall is, is like nailing it. Totally, he, he knows exactly what to do in order to like stay yeah. ahead in the um, or like stay even at least in the fatigue battle. Did you bash your own acolyte there? <laughs> he knows what acolytes can do now in the mirror. Like they can really hurt at the end. Like if it goes to the deepest point of fatigue, it's not like one damage that you get. It's 15 more. Getting the brawl. I think that if we like see a despite go once we see a despite on the board going for face or for going for a minion that Radu might play afterwards, uh, he might actually consider bashing his own acolyte, just so the additional the double draw doesn't and happen. Now he can just suicide his acolyte away yeah. for just one card. You definitely run. want to do that. So Radu has left big game hunter. Ah, but uh, his own acolyte. Radu still. Yeah, Radu has both acolytes battle. still. Both acolytes. Here he runs one. One? Oh, okay. Wow. One Echolite made for the mirror match. It is. Uh, yeah, well, this is a hand that Rekfall's not going to win with. And in life total, they are kind of even. But with going two turns earlier in fatigue, Rekfall is here really behind. So and yeah, and he doesn't even have answers. Yeah. To the I mean, Rekfall recognizes your guess. But I mean, he can't even answer the spell sure, clearly. Yeah, he can nightmare it and then it dies the that, turn after, but... That nightmare BGH by Radu. Yeah, that was... That was like, the game-winning play right there. If mm -hmm. that and have come there, I mean, how are you going to deal with Yashira? There is no possible answer that he had at all. It's true. So, wow. Radu taking the series here. But definitely very well played by both players. Yeah, for I, sure. I kind of like it because Rekful mm -hmm. had the situation where he could have, mm -hmm. like, just really gone ahead and outlast RDU. Getting the Nightmare from the Ysera was insanely important. Yeah. And, I, and I just like also how Rekful played it. Like, we discussed it and we said, yeah, it might go to Fatigue, but Rekful actually sure. was so ahead by not going for the Fatigue plan and playing mm -hmm. it really aggressively. So we have Rekful going with the Druid. Um, favorite matchup, it's sad, right? For a Druid. It's a, it was always a really favorite matchup for the Druid, but it's people disagree with it now. And that is one of the reasons for that is Darnassus. Darnassus is a really good card for Druid now, really good. But there is one matchup where it hurts you, and that is against uh, Warrior. That now finally gets value from the Fiery Warrex against the Druid. And it's like a weak minion, it's a bad top deck. And 
it, it really hurts them. But I would still say, yeah, Druid's still pretty good against Warrior. But even people say it might not even be good enough anymore. Also, in my opinion, another card that uh, re uh, that slightly impacts the um, matchup in Warrior's favor now is Bash. Um, I think the card is like a re really cool, a cool tool to deal with the minion and gain a little bit, a little bit of health, uh, which is really important if you're facing down a potential burst combo by Force of Nature Savage Roar plus an additional plus some minions. So um, any any point of armor actually counts, and Bash provides that point of armor um, that might be crucial. At I totally agree. Like I think Bash is huge. It, it deals so well with the ba uh, with the shredders, and you can just uh, use your weapon hit to deal the to kill the shredder drop. It's so nice. So now here in the turn two from the warrior, maybe you you can just think of yeah, it's a dwarf to drop the fire warrex. Um, that druid hand hand seems really yeah. slow. Yeah, getting all the seven drops here, it's... Uh... Did Rekvil forget to mulligan again? <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. that is handball, maybe I've been better, I think. <laughs> Key. That's... I mean, the warrior hand is, like, really uh, good. Uh, it's, uh, it's good, is it really good? I mean, he doesn't have anything himself. You have a weapon, you have an execute, you have the bash to kill a shredder off, you have a mid-game ga mid drop. I mean, what do you want? <laughs> Yeah, I feel like having an Acolyte or something to drop yourself mm. wouldn't be bad either. You need to activate the Execute. I really like that he equips the uh, so Warrex here. What is worse than a turn 2 hero power, guys? I think turn 3 hero power, 4 through it. Like, is there a worse feeling than doing this twice in yeah. a row? Ryu is like, yes. <laughs> yeah, Ryu has to be feeling uh, pretty good about that. But Rekful, don't count Rekful out yet. Um, imagine, I mean, basically anything can happen with this kind of hand, I would say. With double the Ancient of Lore, and it, it all depends how Radu can deal with this. Oh, do you want to kill that cute little Mur Murloc? Oh. Of course, it makes disgusting noises. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> it did nothing wrong. <laughs> so yeah, the Tauruson will also be really huge in, with, a, with the kind of hand that Rekful has. Go with the Shield Maiden here. Yeah, coin yeah. Shield Maiden to Shield Maiden seems really strong. Yeah, and it's. It's really tricky to play your one execute already here on a Druid of the Cloud too. Uh, so Rekful has to make the decision now, does he want to play it reactive with the swipe and... Uh, or does he want to swipe Rev just for the value and really value this Druid of the Cloud or do you just want to drop the Emperor here? Um, I mean, Emperor is not doing much than making the 7 mana card 6 mana. <laughs> That's, yeah, uh, I, th I feel like Rekful um, wants to... Um, Play it in a way where he first draws some cards, and he like yeah. covered over his cards in this way as well yeah. to show us. Uh, so he's gonna play the Ancient of Lore first, and then make yeah. the cards um, cheaper that I, he gets out of this Ancient of Lore. In some matchups, I want to do that, but I actually really like it how it, to, against Warrior. And you also didn't saw an answer into the Druid of the Claw, so you might think that Radu just has a hard way of dealing with this uh, Druid of the Claw. That's yeah, true. I like like the, he's like developing the board. You always want to have board control against the control warrior. <laughs> Okay, making the attack now here because he has two other weapons that he's gonna play next turn most likely. I feel like this is going to be a really long match. He has both lores. Ardu have a lot has a lot of answers. Yeah, but um, Radu has a lot of good answers now by just weaponing them down and even able to execute. I heard it's a good good seven drop. Not bad to draw turn seven, I think. Yeah. It's, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit tricky. I mean, Swipe gets pretty good here. Even on BGH is good. Sadly, Rekvo has like a lot of hand and really slow turns, but not the cards he really wants here now. Is it not like you can actually go with the aggressive fruit here as the warrior? You could actually go for Yisera to do its face and just kill him with the weapons? Uh, you need Grom, and then yes, but without... Uh, oh, you have an 8-8 dragon on board and bring him down. Okay, double keeper being used here makes the uh, Zovanas really good if it comes later in the game. Or Isera even. Double keeper. Or Isera indeed. Oh, that's a uh, little boom bot. Mm. Making the keepers instead of 2-4, two, 2-3. Two, Seems fine. Yeah. Maybe you could even like Taskmaster your Armorsmith and then push more damage. You have two anyways, right? So, the value game is actually going to be hard for uh, RDU, I think. Uh, Rackful, normally a Druid is getting er earlier out of steam, but here it really seems that with the, all the cadre that the Druid had, the slow start that the Druid had, it has some really good value in the hand here. And yeah, RDU is a bit struggling with that, but Rackful is going to struggle, struggle yeah. with answers if Radu can just put them out in time, like 
Alex next turn. It's kind of hard that because Ardu has to execute because if he like executes the Ancient of War, it gives him even more tempo. Hmm, that's not easy. So, so what is the seven drop of choice here? I think you want to drop the Emperor just to get a bit more tempo, right? Not necessarily. I don't know. I don't know if you just like into the despite boom gets kind of weak, but Emperor is also weak. It's just a free kill. Lore is also pretty weak into like. Do you even want to draw more cards? Lore, yeah, Lore gives you more cards. Um, what like what Rekpol wants to find probably is a uh, Savage Roar, for example, as well. Sure. So we can maybe get like a really insane Force of Nature double Savage Roar combo. Oh, yeah. I think the Echo is a really really impactful draw for RDU here. He needed these cards. He still need. It's really good here, yeah. And but you still need to do like, what am I gonna do with this boom here? Mm. This boom bot, the cute one, one boom bot. And four. Boom bot goes where he pleases. Mm. The Nassos or the Roar? Yeah, he's thinking if it is worth to execute. Probably the the Lar. I can see an execute happening. So you can execute. Oh wow, this is interesting. Uh, getting Geddon. Or is he gonna double curl Taskmaster the armor smack? No. Oh, yeah. the brawl is coming down. I mean, you, this Ecolite is going, doing a really good job. Uh, and execute, right? Do you yeah, execute? I don't know if you really want to leave it up. It's still a 5 4. The, the board is for you from yourself, it's kind of weak. It's true. Dies to everything and force of nature and swipe, but uh, oh, are you is really playing yeah. out really greedy? But I think I like it because Druid has so many threats. You really don't want to use the your executes on this five four. The brawl draw might have changed some things too, because now if even if there is like a clear and Rekful's coming with one or two minions, it's still gonna. Uh, then the brawl also gets pretty good. True, true. Um, so. Rough, uh, yeah, he's trying to get board control um, back, and I kind of like it. And now it's time for Emperor, and no answer on board from Rekful or from RDU anymore. And it's time for some removal, maybe, or a really good cannon. Yeah, Emperor making wow. eight cards cheaper seems yeah. like good value for innovates, right? Yeah, yeah that, it's that cannon is ha having a good time on the board. <laughs> but cannon here, best super good answer from uh, RDU, and that was also maybe why. Like the lore on two help, like mm -hmm. why would you execute Time it? Time to burn some trees, right? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Poor trees. Yeah, they did nothing wrong uh. in their life. <laughs> mm, just use that armor up. And are you a pretty good health total? Has re free removals in the hand and still, and still the thing is, it's gonna be hard to win the uh, the value game. That's the only problem he's still facing. So much but how does Wreckful remove this Baron Geddon? It's not something you really want to combo. Uh, and Druid of the Claw Hero Power is kind of an awkward answer. Yeah, you might want to dig for the swipe here with the excess mana. Even a ref is a decent draw, you can just... Getting a second Force of Nature doesn't help. Uh, you can use the 5 mana Force of Nature and play a 4 drop, I think it's decent. You can even start with Ezra Drake and hope you draw the swipe or the ref still. With ref you still are able to ref for 4 and make the Hero Power. So you say the best play here is going for a top deck? Uh, I would say you go as a Drake. If it goes wrong, you play the five mana force of nature and you trade into the Ganon. Yeah, seems reasonable. You still want to dig for maybe the answers like VTAs. You are kind of scared of what is coming. Getting Doesn't get the swipe, but so now will he clear this with the five mana force of nature or does Take he choose to play more damage minions? Wall and he's getting quite low then. And, like you can load that maybe. Turn of the Cloud feels weak. I don't know. I feel like uh, Rekful can just win the value game. So I mean, it's, this, is, this has been apparent from the start, Thais. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's gonna hero power. That's, wow, that's just sweet. hero power. Wow. Oh, wow. This Alex Straza. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Just hero power. What? Why? It's With the full hand. It's 19 plus. It's one damage off, right? There were so many things that Rekful could have done <laughs> here. Wow. Play like a 4-drop and, uh, and the Dynasty's Aspirant. Uh, well, wait, wait. Play the Force of Nature to clear. Uh, yeah, like, Radu is scared. Are you scared of some insane combos now? I mean, there was Emperor yeah, value yeah, on yeah. Eight, uh, 8 cards. And I think so. You think just so. expect like a double combo. You, you have to trade off. Yeah, that, uh, I, think that so as well. I think so as well. I, wa I want to be above um, the double combo now. I mean, you, you can't play around double Force of Nature, double Stutter Draw. I mean, that's but I mean, he still wins next turn with just getting Grom. Taskmaster. Yeah, I like this play. 
Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay. You can double we go, force. We, we are going far here. Double. F he needs another innovate for double force. <laughs> one run. Like, how much damage is that? 20, I don't even know. It's 20. Uh, it's 26. 30, 30, 30, right? It's 26, I think. You have to, like. 12, yeah, 26. Wow. 26. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it seems interactive. He needed one more innovate, and he had it here, guys. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you like that, there's, right? there's still a way to survive, is there? I don't know, you... Yeah, I think there is. There are a lot of ways. I mean, he can combo and clear it easily. Yeah. Um, you can root and force. You I mean, he can do the same what he can do last turn. Combo clear, and then go for the innovate into taunt, maybe? Yeah, I like that. And you rough. No, you can't use the rough. So, Baron Garen is going to C. Oh, he's going to 8. That's so I mean, that's, that's it, right? Well, I guess so. <laughs> You attack. I mean. Okay, okay. It's very. Okay, does he serve us? Um. Uh, you. Yeah, you cannot really. There is no kill now. Uh, you probably want to remove the Strud of the Claw. You can drop Ysera here. Hmm. I mean, Radu still might thinking of a combo turn, but seeing here the inner raid might spoiler some things that it's way less likely for him having it. What about Shield Slam execute this? Is it too wasteful? Just to keep the Gromash combo online. Wait, it's very lethal. I want to see that. <sighs> Attack, execute. Now you cannot then raise the Grom, that's the problem. Oh, no. If there was like 11 mana, it was lethal, but yeah, uh, true, now it's true. not. We're going to see Taskmaster execute. He's really scared of some. I mean, you can use pieces. the shield slam next turn to enable the Grom, so I kind of like this play. Yeah. But, I mean, there shall come something from Wreckfall that uh, denies either a low tap, either a taunt, or. But yeah, yeah with an execute still. Okay. Uh... Um, so, low tap will. Mites oh. a little bit with an execute oh. uh, shield slam and Grom turn. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, Brawl might be even the best play here. I mean, it's really awkward to play in Yusira here and die to combo. <laughs> awkward? You call it awkward? Yeah, but I call I it kind of <laughs> awkward. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> mm. yeah, I think it's 28 damage. I mean, Rado is expecting the double uh, Savage Roar combo, probably. Yeah, but even single combo is enough now. It's just 28, the, so... The Brawl is only bad if the war survives, right? And if you win the Brawl, uh, feels good, man? Let's see what happens. I mean, uh, Is the Taskmaster strong enough? That's okay. Uh, it's I okay. mean, this is the middle, mediocre outcome where actually there is no taunt in the way anymore. But the armor is going to be gone. Mm. So no way to shield slam your own Grom. Who gets the inner weight? So, Rackfall saw the Brawl being gone here now. Makes uh, turns like Boom way better. Still wants to draw another taunt though, just to be super safe, I think. He's he's scared. Yeah, well now he has to go all in on that Dr. Boom. Go yeah, on. and I think Dr. Boom, like, it should be super good here. Uh, well, so but why can Boom be bad here? So, Ryu like, has no Taskmaster left, if like, I count right. Why won't you play Boom here? It feels so good. Ganon is gone, yeah. no death by death rather than I mean, board. You can innovate Boom, but Rexford is playing it so shy. But I cannot see the backfire of Boom. Yeah, there can be a BTH, but then it's still two Boobons on the board. So... I mean, ultimately, this will end up being better for Wreckful, I think. But the card, is it good enough? No. So I think RDU has... Can he deny lethal? Yeah, you have to attack the Aspirant and... Shield Slam execute oh. low fab. Well, but then you have, can also play Savannah on board. So I, I think it's He's still doing really, it. I think it's a He's doing really it. reasonable it. play. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Druid with no cards being having left almost, then you've got to play around combo. Um, wow. 
It looks really good for Rackfall here. You could even just trade the shade, swipe the Savannas. Wow. Oh, it's lethal here. In the oh, red yeah. swipe. In oh, yeah, the in red, red swipe, swipe. guys. Wait, how much is it exactly? Yeah, it's like yeah, 19, yeah. it's 21, I think. It's uh, yeah, 25. Yeah, this yeah is, it's, this it's is 21. Too over. So, Wow, Rackfall here taking the series with the Druid over the Warrior from RDO. Hey, hey, hey chat, stop rioting. We saw uh, it, right? <laughs> we saw the Evil. <laughs> Come on. We totally saw it, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he ties the series here 1 1, winning the Druid against the Warrior. And um, both players, Druid and Hunter, left now. So it's really even, I feel. Oh, man. And uh, I really liked how Rackfall actually played that series. He played a tie are really shy, but uh, it paid off and uh, got the win here. here uh. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Rackful uh, definitely hanging in there, mm -hmm. tying up the series, and now Radu has to figure out what kind of deck he wants to pick against the Druid. Right. Like, with the Druid being left, it feels you kind of can't go avoid the mirror. If you think you're fine with your Hunter into it, uh, both are, I think it's like a hybrid Hunter that Radu plays. It's like even. It's both matchups, like against Druid, it's okay, but it's not insanely good. So I think it's a really close call what you want to make here. Thanks as well. Oh, he decides to go ahead and pick the Hunter. I mean, Aryu had a pretty good run with the Hunter so far this tournament. Yeah, definitely. It's been performing very well for him. 6 0 so far in the tournament, mm -hmm. that's what he said. That's true. So let's see if he can ride this uh, undefeated wave of momentum for his Hunter. But this Druid hand. Wow, will do you hell? just keep everything? Yeah. The curve looks good. <laughs> You can't keep everything, but I think if you go Darnassus into Shade, you probably want to have an, uh, your own 4-drop. Not a reactive 4-drop, but playing your own 4-drop, like a Shredder, maybe in Keeper. Yeah, seems good. I mean, coin, has, uh, coin the Nasus into Shade seems good. The only way you get, it gets countered is Quick Shot. Yeah, but that's, is that a keep in Hunter? Do people keep Quick Shot against Root just because there might come Darnassus? It's interesting, right? Yeah, w like, would you? Yeah, it all depends on how fast um, your I, Hunter is in general. I actually think it makes sense somehow. Mm -hmm. But sure. uh, the Hunter has so many good 2-drops, like the Juggler, the Creeper, the Scientist that you always want. You can get so much better, and I don't know if you want to play around uh, combos from Druid. If you're, if you're playing like a face Hunter, uh, like a pure face Hunter, it's uh, usually not a good thing. You want the quick shot oh, to support oh. the card draw. Yeah, Radu saw it there, because Radu Milligan yeah. early, he saw Rackful not Milligan. Milliganing any cards. Ryu seems really stressed yeah, out. Yeah, he's like, what is coming, Rackfall? What do you have there in your And mood? those freezing traps are absolutely worthless oh. right now. You don't want to freeze trap at the yeah. muscles. That, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> wow, this hand from Rackfall's side uh. as well. Oh, 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 it's getting painful right there. Yeah. And I mean... Yeah, well, the bow will be able to deal with that uh, yeah. Darnus' Aspirant, but Rackful with another <laughs> shade of Nextra must you, right? You don't need the 4-drop. <laughs> just play that other 3-drop. Oh. It's really... Oh, wow, and even oh, getting wow. the second Darnus' Aspirant as well. That's, that's beautiful to watch, guys. Yeah. It's a good... It's an, uh, that's some good Hunter there. Okay, so... Yeah, Shade is kind of decent the here. The Scientist is just a dead card. He runs Double Freezing Trap, right? Yeah, he runs double freezing. Oh. I'm pretty sure he doesn't run anything else. So scientist is just a two mana, two two. Hey, maybe he's going to silence it. But does he fall for it? If you see one secret, you might just um, deal the two damage mm -hmm. into it. Yeah, if, why you, not? if you if you expect only freezing. Oh, but he chooses uh, to pop the freezing trap immediately. Um, do you keep it? I would have. Well, <laughs> if you're gonna kill it now for two damage, <laughs> you're really pr positive about not. Uh, I must Oh yeah, he's gonna science it. I mean, in the way how he played it. I mean, it's if Rick will know, if Rick will scout it out you at all, then he would have uh, just damaged the mad scientist. Yeah. Right there. That's true. So, so definitely a misplay by Rick Full. Yes. Yeah, wrong sequencing. Doesn't uh, get. It's, well, it's actually like now there is a bow charge, and now this mad scientist is gonna trade into one minion. That abusive sergeant is going to punish this attack. Yeah, it does a bit. I mean, there is still the bow that... Um, well, now you just don't get the face damage, mm -hmm. but... Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Rackwell's still in a commanding position, though. I mean, despite uh, despite the slight misstep that he just made last turn, he's still ahead in health, ahead on the board. And uh, Radu on the back foot, which is not where you want to be as a hunter that wants to go face. Ooh, and there's the Hoppa. You like this pick? Ah, uh, it's... It's just, it's just four damage for three mana. <laughs> Do you um, trade with that? 
You could try the scientist, freezing trap. It feels like Hopper just has to go face. It's, but the trade is just too good here, I guess. Yeah, it's, I it's mean, kind of a weird spot. Like the the, the longer you uh, spend time trading stuff for, uh, from the Druid away, the more time you give the Druid ultimately to um, just establish board uh, control I and just mind, close out the game. I want to mind seeing here a freezing trap, getting another charge, mm -hmm. just hoping for no good answer here. And of course, we don't trade as a good hunter player. There we go into the face. Yeah, I mean, if uh, even if the uh, shade, I mean, even if uh, the shade just. Um, does not attack into this freezing trap right now. Uh, Radu can still kill command it next turn, mm -hmm. right? That's true. And um, yeah, Rackful has to decide now what he wants to do. He can even think of charging up the Druid of the Claw and then you get it back. And then you have like a valuable trade into mm -hmm. the Hopper. Or maybe playing the Shade, playing it a bit more positive and just hoping you, you can. But it, it gives him another turn. And Taunt is also pretty good here. Arcane Golem. Uh, I wouldn't like to drop it to Arcane Golem here. You just ram the Druid right, right up to turn 7. You never want to do that. I mean, do you have much options with this hand? But, like, the Abusive is a super good, is pretty good here on the Huffer, where you have, like, a valuable trait. Maybe you want to keep the Huffer. So what about Kill Commanding a Druid of the Claw? I'm, you, I'm you fairly sure the Kill Command will have to be played on the Shade. Because uh, eventually, Wreckful will have something to deal, uh, like a Force of Nature, for example, uh -huh. even, that to deal with the Freezing Trap. And then the Shade, once it's big enough, it will just get completely out of control. Can you play around? Like, can you afford to play around with it if, if you have? Yeah, hands? I don't know if, like, with this hand that is so cheap, I don't even know if you can play around anything. Like, I wouldn't mind going face here. Yeah, I like it a lot. Just hoping for no good answers, going for the Golem. You might as well go with the bow because you have a second weapon at the yeah, race. Yeah, I would actually like that too. So. Uh, that, that keeper is really good. You did a lot of you did a lot of good work, Hopper, but it ends here for you. I like the swipe aspirant here. Um, also, aspirant uh, is like <laughs> a perfect minion to get into this freezing yeah. trap. And uh, Radu might actually, uh, yeah, he will just be forced to. I think uh, he should have really it. attacked with this um, weapon in last turn. Uh, Tries to keep up um, the freezing trap and protect it. It's gonna work out for him, you Yeah. That might be the three damage that can hurt him, but he also still has the freezing trap up now. Yeah, and but now this was the turn where Radu actually just took the control of the health lead. Uh, oh. Double lore in the hand. Seems so a good. A lot of heal. Going up to 18 right there. Yeah, this is actually crucial for Rackfall right yeah. now. Especially because he can return it as well with the freezing trap. That's an, an additional 5 health. Mm -hmm. And Radu is running out of gas as well. He does not ha even have a beast for the kill command, so no additional damage there. I yeah, mean, RDU can kill command the lore and trade with the weapon. But you're you're getting super low. I mean, you're already at 70. And what is your win condition by throwing all your cards in these minions? And you either die to a combo or the druid plays a minion. It's uh, it gets super tricky now, and it feels like it gets in a worse spot every turn. Hmm. Feels bad, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. Has to make the trade. Even going down to 12. Yeah, this shade is getting super big now. 8-8. <laughs> eight, eight. Uh, wait, wait. Is this... Is this... No. No, no. What about Druid of the Claw and Taunt and Keeper the Juggler? You can Druid of the Claw charge, Keeper the Juggler. Oh, that's aggressive. You like it? Uh, the shade, man. Eight damage. Oh yeah, this is this is perfectly fine. This is very safe. Just plays around any sort of burst that uh, Ardu can put on the board. And yeah, and suddenly the druid has the health lead even. Yeah, well, unleash is a pretty decent. You role. really want to protect this freezing trap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, this has been his game plan all all game basically. He will have to stay consistent to his line. Just attack the the straight of the keeper. Yeah, you die almost, almost always. But I mean, the, you only the druid only needs two damage, and he also has heal left in the hand. Yeah, technically, Ardu is not dead if he chooses to ignore the keeper, and the keeper gets frozen. His um, Rekful would be one damage off lethal. But yeah, he stays too true, his, uh, true to his line and leaves the shade as the sole survivor on Rekful's so board. Good to see, see here, but. The hunter is actually out of cards, so you, you're not threatened of anything. Do you really want to... Ancient of Lore? 
Well, that's yeah. weird. Can't you just kill the free one? I, I guess it doesn't matter. You have to swipe. Yeah. So RDU sees that this is probably over. Yeah. Creeper, not the draw you want here. Uh, so the question is, is RDU actually a better Druid player than Wreckful? Well, we will see. I mean, Wreckful uh, just... and. It's a close matchup, but if the Druid has the, uh, his early minions and especially their losses, Kruping out is so big in the early game, and Rado didn't really pick up any mid-game, like no Shredder, no high main, and that makes the matchup also kind of... He had a lot of reactive cards mm -hmm. in his mm -hmm. uh, hands. It's yeah, we will have to see how this whole matchup will pan out. Um, so yeah, we will... Uh, yeah, I mean, both those players will not be eliminated, though, if uh, one of them loses. Nope. Uh, this is the winner's match, after all, so um, both of them still have an extra life. Yeah. Whoever loses this will drop down um, in order to f uh, face whoever wins yeah. the loser's match. Um, it's going to be between yeah. Sivka and Firebat after this series, but of course, now we have still here this series, and... Uh, Druid against Druid, I don't know. I saw the tech card from uh, Rekfell with a war, and I saw... Did he also see Sylvanas? I mean, the, how... Greedier the Druid deck is, normally it gets a bit better in the mirror match. So, uh, yeah, these might have some influences, but of course, it's at the end, it's a mirror game and it's gonna get close. I think RDU still has a shot. Um, Druid is one of these decks which can possibly sweep your opponent. So, put your faith into your Druid curves. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And there so are two okay matchups. I mean, you can do it against Hunter, you can do it again in the mirror. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem too bad. Uh, yeah, but even if uh, Ardu just wins this Druid Mirror, right, then he still has to face against uh, Wreckful's Hunter. Yep. So, it's gonna be hard. I mean, you have two uh, decent matchups, but both, if you have two decent, it's gonna be hard to yeah. win both. Math mathematically speaking, Wreckful is the favorite here, right? Yeah, if you think you are a bit favorite in the matchups, but... Yeah, I, I agree, Vera. Like, mm -hmm. he also has the Hunter left, and Hunter is a little bit favorite against Druid. But Aspirin kind of evens the matchup out. It's gonna be a really tough series. I'm excited for that. Yeah, yeah for sure. Wreckful definitely <laughs> was capable of providing some uh, exciting series so far. So I'm really looking forward mm -hmm. to see how the remainder of the series will go down. Uh, Let's uh, see. I mean, Oh, Redfall went... Where did he go? Oh, we didn't even see him leave. <laughs> oh, I, I guess he went for well, the bathroom break. It's not a race oh, well. quit again, right? I mean, he's 2-1 up. There is no reason. Redfall <laughs> is in the zone at the moment. Yeah. Radu trying to... Oh, my God. Radu seems really emotional, too. Having yeah, trouble yeah. Can we get with the, the camera on Radu right yeah, now? Yeah, it's uh, really interesting to see. Oh, wow. He's off. pacing, oh, he's pacing wow. back and forth. He's off. He's like... He is flexing the muscles. Like, look at that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, he is really thinking, like, what just happened? How can I recover from this? Uh, Radu gets sometimes really emotional after series, in between series. Uh, really high pressuring himself also, yeah. in my opinion. Like, I know a, a lot, because I'm his teammate, that he sometimes really pressures him, and maybe sometimes a bit too much. And uh, But I'm pretty sure that when he goes in the game, he can recover from that. Yeah. I mean, RDU definitely wants to always stay in the zone, right? That's, that's always what he's talking about. He wants to get in the zone first, uh, during the first couple of turns, and then, like, I think Rekful's uh, uh, sudden departure right now basically might might have thrown Radu even off, maybe, uh, and just thrown him out of his zone. So, uh, like right now, he, he tries to get back into it. So, mid range Druid was mid range uh, Druid. It's on. Didn't we saw this hand from Rekful before? Uh, Darnasa Shade, Druid of the Claw. Just the swipe is missing. Just yeah. milligan away <laughs> the Emperor. And, uh, wow. But also Radu, I mean. Turn two, Darnassus into turn mm. three. As a Drake seems already pretty decent. Seems pretty even here. Mm -hmm. Yet, yeah, um, Radu made already the Mulligan. Rekfell still has the decision to Mulligan. And some people say you can even consider keeping Emperor in the mirror. But how is that? I mean, it's so super <sighs> greedy. Uh, I don't think you can afford to keep it. You, if you just uh, fall behind on board and then and drop the Emperor, you're not going to win the mirror. No, I don't think so either. I, mean, I think with the Wild Grove it makes sense, but Darnassus can never live for five or six turns. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so Rekful going with the coin as print. Ardu has no, no answer. Rekful actually kept the uh, Emperor, as we were talking he's about. He's a really greedy Druid player. Uh, I mean, he just knows he's going to top deck in a way, so it's not a Of course. Deal. That's how good Druid <laughs> players do it. He really feels good nature together with no fury. And he doesn't even consider using the hero power to deny RDU his 4-drop. Um, do you... So, 
just don't believe, just think he doesn't have it, and he doesn't have it. I mean, what you could do here, which is actually um, interesting, you could like charge the Druid of the Claw into the Esperant, and then you also deny um, Wreckful his Keeper of the Grove. Yeah, that seems like a pretty decent play, although you have to use Innervate to do this, so... Yeah, but you have another 5 drop, doesn't seem too, um, that big of a deal. Don't even save your Esperant, though. Unfortunately, and if the, if he, if Wreckful chooses to get the shade out of fighting, that is. Yeah, but when he also deals off the shade, so yeah, it's yeah. a win-win situation. For sure. Him. I mean, this the play is fine, I suppose. Mm -hmm. We'll see what Radu decides to do here. Good. He's going for the Druid charge. Oh, just man. like you said. Nice. Well predicted, JJ. Well predicted. Sometimes lucky, I guess. So here, actually, Wreckful with drawing the Temple BGH here, if you want to go with it. Uh, I mean, I you need it kind of for boom, but isn't it already too late if he ca comes first with the boom? Yeah, I think so. so uh, you, you might just drop it. I think uh, Darnassus trade is... Sure. I still would like to see the trade into their Darnassus. You, you don't want to like really give the shade away, but Darnassus, it, it just feels you always have to kill it. If the Druid just curves out a bit earlier than you, it just hurts you a lot. So we rough hero power, getting the board control. Yeah. That seems like a reasonable play. With the five drop already in hand, uh, even if uh, Rekko can react into the Druid of the Claw well, with and Keeper, for example, you still uh, follow, have a really good follow-up. So what does Rekko draw here? This draw will be crucial. Will it be a hero power turn or something useful? Or a Keeper. Swipe. Ooh. Very nice pickup right yeah. there. Um, dealing with the Druid yeah, of the Claw. Yeah, it's decent, but a Keeper would have been just mind-blowing. Yeah, well, at least he has something to yeah, play. Uh, that's that's, that's all Rekko wanted. That's true. And with the five, six, seven in hand, um, if if Radu doesn't come up with and really uh, with a lot, then Rekful might be just super happy with his hand here. We see Radu has the four, five drop, so that makes the uh, decision probably a bit easier. Yeah, I agree with playing a Drake here. It just gives you one more card and one more option if the other Druid drops a threat. There's the low tap, and it's an okay minion, uh, like. Lotep was known as denying the combo from the uh, Druid, but as turn 5, it sometimes just block, blocks reactive uh, turns where they want to deal into the minion. That's true. Um, do you want to drop the 4-6 or just the Shredder? It's kind of hard, right? You can also think... Like, the hero power is actually kind of valuable because it isn't straight into the Lotep. Mm -hmm. So you, 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 like, you end up with just uh, having the Shredder on board, but... Root of the Claw, mana-wise, maybe a bit better. And if RDU gets the Force of Nature here, it's actually lethal next turn. Oh wow, I didn't even saw that, but that's indeed true. Yeah. And Wreckful can go for a positive play with the Emperor here, but uh, yeah, the Force of Nature just seems really good here, because mm -hmm. it just clears the board. And it kind of denies a Lord turn, because there's a 5-1 low tap up. And you don't really want to play a Lord into a 5-1 low tap. I think you really want to drop the Force of Nature here, get just the aggression off the board. Yeah, like I, where I like the Emperor play in the mirror, but on this board it feels uh, it feels really positive to drop an Emperor. I mean, just imagine if there is already a roar, you just need like a small piece with it, and uh, it looks already super scary. Rekful is going for the Force of Nature board clear. Let's see if he misses the two damage and miss. I mean, you could trade it low if I into the Druid to claw first, um, trade. Oh no, it's... No, it's, it's the same. What are you yeah. talking about, JJ? I don't know, like, <laughs> they have good beer there. <laughs> <laughs> so, well... <laughs> oh yeah, the Innervate, perfect well, right now for to clear the Lothab off. Where I said Lore was kind of weak, this is actually pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs>
Here for Wreckfall. Feels like you really want to play the Keeper with the swipe together. Just mana-wise good and board-wise good. Um, the Boombots will be pretty impactful. And the Minion is down. Yeah. And it's down. Yeah. Wow. wow. Oh, wow. So you don't have to swipe anymore. Do you uh, even want to drop the Emperor here? Well, he kept it in the starting end. Come on, he wants to play it. Yeah, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's not good on board, but... It is a little bit risky. Yeah. It is super risky. But like, actually, it's, uh, he's, still out of range. Yeah, he's still out of range of the combo, so... So, do you fine. actually Savage draw here to clear the Emperor and then drop your own Emperor? Well, I mean, it's super reasonable to do that. Ooh, with the low tap draw, you can consider some other options. Still, Roar together with Emperor seems really powerful here. Yeah, the low will be crucial once yeah, uh, like, Rekpo like once Rekpo reaches the stage where he can actually finish off RDU with the combo. So, double keeper is... Huh. It's interesting. Uh, you, you, get, you go into the 9 mana turn here. In a way, well, does, does innovate something here? Yeah, I think it does actually. You really don't... Like now you can also play the Druid of the Claw mm -hmm. with one mm -hmm. keeper together. Yeah. It's not... Mana wise, you leave one mana up, but it's not important anymore. Yeah, exactly. You? What is the red going to do yeah. at this stage? Nothing. So, Wreckful down to one card. Yeah, you just well, cycle the Wild Groves first. See what there you are can. the Wild Groves, guys. So, I guess he top decks Dr. Boom here, like always. No, no. Yeah, and Never try. Oh, I should have, should have used this mm. two mana Wild Groves. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're going to use it now. <laughs> Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, well, there oh. we are. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Still in time. Uh, you used the wrong one, though. Uh, yeah, Echo was uh, right. So... Oh, another Wild Grove. Three Wild Groves in a row. This is a really good Dream Mirror match with all these Wild Groves. <laughs> yeah. Trees all over the place. And there is a Lore also. I mean, it feels tricky into a Boom. But... Yeah. Um, Lore will be played right now, drawing cards. The war is uh, kind of good in a mirror, but RDUS is the answer. He needs to clear this boom bot. Yeah, so uh, Savage Raw deals less damage. Oh, that's a uh, poor Pre hit there. Yeah, but pretty good outcome for Wreckful. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. RDU really wants to get... Is that lethal, actually? Mm. So you silence that, go for a... F no, nah, it's never lethal. There are only two minions on board, but mm. you have some decent trades here. I think, yeah. Roar gives you the options to also trade well with your hero power, or like gives your hero power together with the boom already in I mean, yeah. low tap into Savannah is insanely strong. See, if he, if he didn't actually trade the boom bot away, uh, it would have been one off even with mm -hmm. Savage Roar. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like... I actually like a low tap keeper with Roar he play here probably. I think you can just see what's going to happen out of the Roar. Then you have like a lot of possibilities with the Keeper, but this makes uh, the next turn insanely good. I kind of like it because you protect your board with low fab and you... Uh, yeah, you just make the spells more uh, more costly. Uh, well, I mean, actually for Wreckful, this is one of the better outcomes where he can just trade the Keeper into the boom and you just trade the Sylvanas away with your lore yeah. and you can just play your Keeper and uh, war. Yeah, curve. this is this is actually perfect uh, for Wreckfall. Wreckfall, like where Bradley was scared about some uh, big combos from uh, Wreckfall, Wreckfall actually had a super reactive hand, so this actually that's a good play. Is, but yeah, uh, the the keeper of the growth uh, for RDU will be wait uh, is waiting. Oh, this is such an even mirror match where both have like two or three cars. The board is even. Bad. The life totals are even as well. Uh, yeah, it's, it's two uh, damage off, right? No, one damage off lethal. No, it's two. Six with six with four, yeah, 60 yeah, yeah. damage. So, so you could um, keep her the war, swipe it, try the boom bot, stay out of combo range. Seems good. The war is just super good because it also makes the boom bot already yeah. dealing two more damage. If you believe, you can just... Um, yeah, you, you can go with the roar on the keeper and you just hope that it's going to hit into the... Oh, it seems fine. The yeah. boom bot is doing the job. You want the face damage here? I don't know. Hardy doesn't believe that the Boombot yeah. can kill the Keeper. No, it's also like bringing it into rough range. He doesn't believe it's going to hit 3 or 4. Oh, it would have hit 4. Yeah. Well, here... Rackful not able to play around combo anymore. But... Uh, has to make the best out of it. Yeah, Ezra Drake, it's, it's 
great. It's great. Again, like both players just making even so late in the game, just spending these ten mana yeah. so well. Uh, but yeah, now together. it comes down to top deck seven, uh, top deck force of nature for these. Both having one roar in the hand. Will is gonna draw that force of nature, guys. Shade of next Ramas. Wait, is that lethal for Rek for next? No, he's off, right? Oh, that, that, that series is uh, super close. This is like <laughs> both had the one roar. Yeah, it's just yeah, the yeah, battle yeah, of yeah, Bow yeah. is going to get this. This is like one of the closest Druid modes I've seen in a long time. Uh, yeah. I mean, usually you see one of those Druid players just uh, establishing control early with early Wild Growth or Dynasty's yeah. Aspirant and then just steamrolling. But this is like oh, super close, back and forth. Three damage needed for Wreck oh, Ball. And he's going to so cycle close. more. It's seven with it's already thirteen damage. He fourteen with the hero power, so three damage is needed. <laughs> no, no, that's no, a blank. No. The worst draw ever now. The worst draw ever? For now. <laughs> I mean but is it, there's no like it's a really bad feeling when you cycle your wild grove and you get your innovate. It's true that. But just yeah, your just killing off that um, keeper of the grove with the as a drake will allow him to at least survive the savage roar. Yeah, it's you, you gotta make this trade, right? Yeah, of course. Well, you can be positive and hope there is an inner rate uh, in their, in your opponent's hand, but yeah. Do you like this attack? I think it's good. Yeah, if he counter attacks it, the shades are both away. And I think for it's the fine. Feature. And there we. Oh no! Another blink. That's the worst <laughs> draw. <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, they're not just giving that extra wild growth or oh, yeah, extra mana crystal. He has crystal. to trade the shade now, right? The extra mana crystal, not really useful here anymore. And yeah, we're just gonna drop the blanks. Is that it? Is that the end? Uh, What's it gonna be, Rekful? Uh, oh. Wrath. Oh, we we, we rough for two well, here. Well, I, I just want to get another card. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. just want to get that force here. Yeah, you don't want to die to come. Come on, Rekful, draw that force of nature and do it. it. And like with the wrath, you also can down it with the hero power. But uh, <laughs> the battle for will gets the force of nature. Well, is nature with Malfurion, guys. This series is so close. Yeah, you can face it. And Ardu has one more draw. Two, three. You need five damage. So Ardu, you. And Druid of the Claw is also lethal. You lethal better here, by pray the way. to RNGs here. Druid of the Claw also lethal here, but now it has to come for Ardu and oh, it's no, one no, off. One damage, it's <laughs> one off. Oh god! Oh. How is this possible, guys? <laughs> wow! Oh, oh, oh he, he realizes it. It's probably oh, wow. it. Wait. Like swipe the shredder and then yeah 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 yeah, yeah you of have, course you have to swipe the shredder of course you swipe shredder no 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 oh. well he's gonna he's gonna roar the shredder I think wait, wait. no no he's gonna oh, ignore no, it you stay okay. out of, you stay out of range right yeah yeah, yeah you stay out but oh, oh my god <laughs> top deck mode enabled <laughs> true and what is Rekpul gonna Does get Rekpul here? Does Rekpul advance and to top eight? What was that? Rune of the oh, Claw? Yeah, this is Rune of the Claw. There it is. We have Rekpul in top eight of Seed Story. Wow, hey, Rekpul. What a series. Whoa. Holy shit. Rekpul nailing it. Wow, and that was a really good Rune oh, Series to end it. Wow. Oh, and oh man, I cannot believe it. It was <laughs> so close at the end. One of the best Rune Series oh, my I God. ever saw. This, this, this series was crazy. Once again, Rekpul provides. Th there he is. Rekpul delivers. Sub well, welcome here and congrats on the series. Holy shit, what a last game there and what a series, Rackful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, I like the, the Hunter vs. Drew the most. It was fun. Um, what do you guys have any. How do you feel, man? I, I feel like you're improving. Like, are you getting try hard, Rackful? Is this happening? I drank tea. And I, I thought about my turns for more than the first five seconds. Wow. Oh, wow. That's a lot. But usually, yeah, when I'm streaming, I usually only think for about five seconds, and I can't focus for the rest of the turn. But I tried to actually think for a whole turn most of the time. Dude, I, I feel like you're improving a lot over the tournament. Uh, yeah, well, I haven't played tournaments before, except in beta, you know, before I'd played the game for more than a week, so. And then it turned me off because I missed lethal. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, but yeah. So, so Rickful, how does it feel to be in top eight right now? Crowd favorite? Feels good, man. Yeah, Thanks, crowd. Eight. And I want to play some poker, though. And first out of the groups, Rackfold, just 2 0 in the groups. Yeah, and that was a hard group. Because it was uh, RDU, Firebat, Sansifka. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, I don't think 
going into this group, anybody expected you to go t uh, to win it, uh, to go to top eight, let alone win the whole group. Yeah. So I mean, well. congratulations. Well, well played for sure and well deserved. All right, gamba time. Uh, gamba time. <laughs> yeah. gamba time. Okay. All right, so uh, this is it. Uh, Rackful um, advancing to top eight, Radu dropping down to the deciding match. And right now, next on the stream, we are going to have Stan Sivka versus Firebat for you guys. So, yeah, that's going to be the loser's match. Loser of that match is eliminated. The other, ma the other one will face RDU for that uh, top eight spot. So I'm excited. Yeah, stay tuned, everyone.